Hi there. Today we are here with Adrian Tonkin and I've invited Adrian here to join us today to share with us his story of um, what his life was like before Alpha, how he came to be on Alpha and, and his experience um, during attending an Alpha. So thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you for your time. It's really great to have you with us today. So Adrian, if you can maybe just start off by telling us a bit about yourself, um, about your background and about your life, especially in the area of faith and God um, before, you, before you heard of and before you came on an Alpha. Well, I was kind of searching. I really didn't know. My faith would flip and flop back and forth between believing and not believing. I'd go to church at Easter time and Christmas and maybe for the odd wedding, you know, more to make other people happy than out of anything, anything else. Uh, I didn't really get a lot out of going to church. Thank you. So what exactly was it that made you come on Alpha? My sister actually told me about the Alpha course. She, she said that it had changed her life and that I should give it a go. So when I was at church on one of those rare occasions, I happened to see an Alpha pamphlet and I took it home with me and stuck it on my fridge. And it sat there for probably about a year. Then I had a really horrible life-threatening trauma and after that, I got home and saw that invitation on my fridge and thought, the next Alpha I'm going to go on and see if this thing really is what my sister said it was. And so I went along. And once you were on Alpha, can you share with us a little bit of what that was like for you, what your experience was, um, just exactly you know, what, what your take on Alpha was? Well... I remember on my first day sitting at the table before the evening started with a group of other people and they seemed so nice and so normal. I thought this was very weird. Like my idea of Christians was quite different to the people that I encountered. We watched a video together and we had some dinner and we started to bond a little bit and I formed some great friendships. We went into our small groups in later weeks and I really got an opportunity to ask some tough questions that I've been grappling with and it helped me to cement some ideas that I had about Christianity. In fact, I started to believe that Jesus really was who he said he was. And by the end of the course, I was even praying and had had a turn trying to read the Bible. Well, after reading the Bible and uh, connecting with what it said in the Bible, I actually started going to church regularly. And I found actually that my church experience was really fulfilling. And I've become a regular churchgoer since attending Alpha. Thanks, Adrian. And if I could just ask you if, um, if Alpha was something that, based on your experience, is it something that you would recommend to other people, um, maybe encourage them to come along? And if so, what, what is it that you would say to them to? I think we're living in very unprecedented COVID-19 times at the moment. And I know certainly a lot of my friends have some searching questions that they're looking for answers. And I would encourage them to try Alpha. It's a great place where you can go and ask anything. You can find a group of other people to bounce some ideas off of, uh, and you can draw your own conclusions. There's no pressure. I think the videos have been really well done. I really enjoy what the Alpha team have put together. And so for me, I look forward every week to watching the next installment. This online alpha thing is a little bit strange. And to be honest, I think we're all trying to find our feet and settling in a little bit. But with each week that we've been doing it, it's getting easier and easier. And I'm really looking forward to seeing my small group this coming week. I think we're going to have a lot of fun together. Thank you so much, Adrian. And thank you so much for your time today. Um, we really appreciate it. And thank you for sharing your, your story with us.